Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So in this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Target Glen Durant darts. And these actually happen to be signed right there by the man himself, Glen Durant. Big shout out to Darts Corner for hooking me up with this set of signed Glen Durant darts. We'll be taking a close up look, going over some stats and dimensions. And yes, I'm actually going to be throwing these things, but I promise I won't be grouping them because I'll be giving away this set of darts Friday, November 22nd. So if you hadn't have a, if you haven't had a chance, check out my week three giveaway video and make sure you get in with a chance to win this set of darts. But for now, let's crack these things open, get a close up look, and then to the board we go. All right. Okay, there we go. Target Glen Durant darts just comes in your standard cardboard case, but very special here. These are actually signed by the man himself. So right there, signed in the bottom left-hand corner. Well, let's crack these things open. We'll get a close-up look over some stats and dimensions, and then we will just have a really quick throw with these things and see how they fly. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Stock out of the package. We get your three barrels, your three medium-length target pro-grip stems, and your three standard size Dozza target flights. Now, if I had one complaint in this review, I wouldn't, uh, would be these flights. I don't understand why they wouldn't come with a pear-shaped flight, which is what Glenn uses. So I don't understand the standard-shaped flight here. But anyway, let's go over some stats and dimensions really quick. These are 90% tungsten barrels, and the advertised weight of these, 26 grams, but they came in at 26.13 grams. All three barrels, so really spot on with a the weight there. The barrel length, 50.00 millimeters, Again, all three barrels perfectly spot on, which just goes to show the excellent machining abilities of Target. And the barrel width kind of came in at a rather chunky 6.7 millimeters wide, which is a little chunkier than I prefer for a straight barrel dart. But given the weight at 26.1 grams, that's not too bad. But let's get a close-up look here at the grip, and we'll take a look at these Target logos and the logo on the other side. Oh, hey, I'm going to mention, too, that all the logos line up. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. Well, there we go. There's a nice close-up look at the dart there and a very consistent grip level from front to rear. I'd say the grip level is probably a two, two and a half on a scale of one to five. Not very aggressive at all. You see there on the smooth section, you have your target logo. And if we were to spin this dart on the other side, you have your Middlesbrough Lion's Head logo. And inside that logo, if you look closely, you can see the three stars, each one representing one of Glenn's World Championship titles. So there you go, guys. Nice close-up look at the dart. What do you say we get these things on the board for a couple minutes? I'm going to use the complete stock setup as they come, so I'm kind of interested to see how these things are going to fly. Well, let's have a go. Here we go, guys. 26 gram Target Glenn Durant dart. I just had a really quick, careful five minutes warm-up with these things. And... Um, yeah, they were flying really, really nice. To be totally honest, though, I kind of wish I had the 22 gram version. And I would uh, prefer to use my stem and flight setup. But nonetheless, these things are still flying pretty good. I mean, I have difficulty with a standard size flight. But I seem to be able to find that 60 bit up there. The grip level, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump that up a little bit. I'm going to say, now that I've uh, thrown these actually for the first time, I'm going to say two and a half, maybe a three level grip. They definitely are uh, sticking to my thumb just a little bit. So they're a tiny bit grippier than I originally thought. But yeah, I really, really like these darts. Super nice. And uh, whoever wins these things, I don't know if it's going to be a collection piece or if you're going to throw them, I don't know, but they definitely would make a nice piece for the collection. And, uh, you know, I'm going to end it right there. I don't want to throw these things too much because, again, I'm giving these away on November 22nd. Make sure, again, you check out the week three giveaway video. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Good luck. The next person that throws these will be whoever wins them. So we'll see you on the next video, guys. Later.